President of the Ghana Trade Union Congress, Coretta MacDonald, was emphatic when she spoke about the crisis at Roussel. This was after the company fired another 146 workers with effect from today. MacDonald said their members are not going to suffer at the hands of any employer. We have been sitting there, we have been trying to working things out with these companies, but it seems as if some of these companies are not sure where they would have gotten their training from or who is behind the scenes pushing them to do what they are doing. But like I said earlier, we will not stand idly by and allow them to transgress the laws of our country. The first set of SAC workers have retaliated to the arbitrary dismissal and continue to block the Burbies River to prevent Roussel from doing any business at the Upper Burbies location. Lincoln Lewis, General Secretary of the Guyana Bauxite and General Workers Union, said never before have Guyanese seen such flagrant and open contempt for the laws of Guyana. On the eve of the Department of Labor scheduled meeting with Russian management, the company issued notice that 146 workers will be laid off with effect from today. This brings a total of 288 workers laid off within the last seven days in violation of the Termination of Employment and Severance Pay Act, which the company was appraised of at the meeting held on 23rd of January at the Department of Labor. Evidently, comrades, the company has thrown down the gauntlet to the government and people of Guyana as to who they think is in charge or one guy needs to feel is in charge. The Russian management, and by extension, Russia. This is naked bullism or pushing the button further to secure an outcome not in Guyanese best interest. Russell is blaming fuel shortages for the dismissal of the workers. But Lois said that's far from the truth. The union and the workers are in talks at the Ministry of Social Protection Department of Labor and are expected to meet again tomorrow.